to perform surgery on my camera. If I don't successfully pull these photos out from my camera and develop them properly, all of those precious memories ruined. I'm expecting the worst. We don't even know if anything's gonna come out. Could have been screwed up from the very first step. <gasps> Did you just take that off? What am I doing? All right, Nick, I got a story for you, man. You know I like shooting film. I was on vacation in Nevada. I brought my film camera with me, of course. I bring it with me everywhere, every time I travel. I got some really nice film photos of my girlfriend's family. Precious memories. This, these are Christmas card worthy. These are like, oh, I remember that time. These, these are some choice memories, ones you don't want to lose. And here's what happened to me. My film lever, it got stuck. I went into the bathroom, turned off all the lights, opened the back of the, the film camera. I had to cut the film strip. I, I accidentally cut the wrong side. So now, <laughs> what? Yes. all of those precious memories are loose on the right side of my camera. They're not protected. Yeah, dude, so basically I'm in a situation where I'm gonna have to develop this color film myself. For a while we've been talking about like, it would be really fun to do this, but we were talking about black and white. I even went and bought a film camera and took like five rolls of, of precious memories. Word on the street says, Developing black and white yourself is pretty easy. You have to heat the liquid chemicals up to a certain temperature, and that temperature can fluctuate about seven degrees. When you're talking color, that temperature has to stay locked within half a degree. If the temperature of the chemicals gets out of that half degree threshold, your photos ruin. Your memories ruin. To get the temperature consistent, the best way to do that is with a sous vide. I don't even know what a sous vide is. Apparently some cooking things? Maybe we're in over our heads. This video is what you get when you take two stinking millennials with no concept of patience, hard work. We're used to instant gratification always. We are going to take a step into the past and see if we can do it the way our forefathers did. I think we need a sous vide. That's like the, that's the first thing we need to make this work. We've been driving around LA Getting little nuggets of information from everyone. We got a sous vide. We got each other. We have each other. Yeah, we do. So I think with all of that combined, we can preserve our memories. Let's throw all, all the stuff we need for black and white only on the table, right? All right, done. So I have six black and white rolls of film that I've shot this year, but I haven't ever developed any of my film. There are some really intense memories in these roles. It's a bunch of pictures of just like around the studio, all the different crew members. We got a lot of really cool photos of like all the Black Rifle Coffee dudes in their World War II getups. I took some pretty sentimental shots visiting my family and I cannot wait to see what's on them. If you don't mess up, if you don't yeah. mess this process up, you'll get to see. I'm not going to mess it up. For your first time doing it? Absolutely not. I read the pamphlet. There's this company called Sinisto, and they sell a lot of photography materials, and they came up with this really cool thing called Monobath, which is, it works on any black and white stock, and it's one chemical instead of, you know, the three steps, four steps. It's super easy, very forgiving. It's, it's like baby's first film exposure. Pretend this is inside the bag, right? What I have to do blind is basically getting the film out of here, Push it in there. This is the hard part because it gets caught up. And then I should be able to do this, which loads it in. And once it's like this, then still in the dark bag, I'll have to put it in place. This is a light blocker. So once I put that in, then and only then can you take it out of the bag. You can't let any light touch it during that whole process or else all your film is ruined forever. Then you're good to turn it that did not. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen when we actually do it, okay? The actual, the actual click. That's the right click. So now that it's loaded, we can go out into the light. Once you get your chemicals heated to the right temperature, you pour them in, you agitate for three minutes, so it hits the film evenly. Hits all the surfaces even, evenly. And then... Then what? Then what, Nick? Then what? Uh, this is two digital age photographers trying to learn how they used to do it. Can you zip, can you zip me in? Are you ready? Are you ready to go in? I am going to come out of this bag with a nicely spooled roll of 35 millimeter black and white film. Let's do it. All right, all the light is squeezed out. I squeeze out every photon. I'm trying to find the nub on the film canister with the pliers that I have. I got it. I got, got it. it. I got, got it. it. So the film's it. coming out. Dude. I'm like sweaty though, son. I'm, I'm, I'm really afraid I'm gonna ruin this film. Dude, this is stressful. You, if you get too nervous and sweat too much, you're gonna get your sweat all over the film. 
I'm guiding it in, and I'm gonna feel those ball bearings, son. I'm gonna feel them. It's pulling. Thick part. I'm doing the shuffle right now. Okay. Okay. Cutting. I hope I didn't cut through a frame. That's a memory. You just, you just freaking catch a lot of memory, dude. Potentially. Did you do it? I did it. It's done. Okay. It's in. You need to hear that cap. That's it. It's not going anywhere. Are we good? I think we're good. Moment of truth. Mm -hmm. If you if you screwed this up, your memories are finished. Yeah. No, they're gone. I won't remember a thing. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Oh my that god, it's sweaty in Sorry, there. Sorry, you don't have to go in. Mono bath. Ready? It's an 80. Okay. Two, one, agitate. That's insane. So the film is actually reacting to the chemicals right now. As we speak. And my arms! Oh, my weak arms! I just have this fear that we did something wrong and I'm gonna take this lid off, take the film out, and I'm not gonna see anything in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Final Release. agitation. Release. Get it out of there. Get it out, It's Nick. burning, it's Nick. burning. Ah, your film's on fire. Take it out, Nick. I can't get it, it's too slippery. Nick. Nick, they're on fire! Ah, stop it! Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get All right, they're safe. Take care, take go care rinse of it. Go take rinse it, go rinse it, go rinse it. There's no! negatives! It worked! Rinse them with water! Rinse them with water! Dude, it worked. Dude, this is awesome, man. This Jan. Dude, these look great. That's legit. That's so cool. That's you guys playing Jan? Smash Brothers, Jan? Griffin. Griffin. Ooh, there's Clinton Jones. Look at you, son. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hang this up to dry. We're gonna get so much crap in the comments for doing everything wrong. And I look forward to that because hopefully we'll learn a lot from that. So. Let us know what we're doing wrong. Clint, do you want to try loading one onto a spool? Yes, I need I need the, the training. I'm trusting Clint with my memories here. I think we both need experience this before we move into the color phase. Hey. hey! Oh, dude, this is Sam with the mud face mask. Oh, really? And Brett with the mud face mask, too. Yeah. Here's one of you and Brett. Heck yeah, dude. That'll be at the funeral. That'll be at my funeral for sure. Funeral strip right here, son. For someone who's used to shooting on digital and like to literally have this be your memory card, this piece of plastic, that's kind of cool. Man. There's something tactile and just, it, it feels more valuable, substantial than digital. So we have successfully developed black and white film for the very first time. Honestly guys, that's just the beginning though because next we have to develop my color film and that is four times <laughs> more complicated than the black and white process. So. Are you ready, Nick? I'm ready to learn. And I'm ready to show you some of the new items in the Corridor Digital Store. We don't have a baseball bat, but we got stress base balls. We got a sweet nylon baseball jacket. Actually, this is one of my favorite jackets yet. It's kind of like the bomber, a little more lightweight, a little slicker, and it's got these great little snap buttons to keep you warm at night during one of those cold, misty nighttime games. And then also when you hit the big field, when you score one for the big home team, we got our official jerseys. These are for our official baseball team that we haven't started, we haven't actually played a game yet. But we, we decided we'll start with the jerseys, get a look and a feel for the team, and then decide what type of ball we want to really throw. Also, every jersey comes with a free stress ball. We don't sell these sunglasses, I'm sorry. These are just my personal shades. But we do have some new felt b-ball hats. The last time we released the water bottle, we had a lot of complaints. They said, uh, Sam, uh, my mouth is not this big. What am I supposed to, I can't wrap my lips around that. Well, we listened. We made a smaller Nalgene bottle with a smaller little hole up here for you to drink your water out of. You can completely surround this with your lips, 100% hydration. We also have long sleeve baseball tees and they are awesome. They're vibrant. We got them in neon yellow and other colors. Really cool. Head on over to quarterdigital.store right now if you want to snag some of this fly ass sh <laughs> Look, this is a great get up. You're not going to want to miss out on it. Head on over to quarterdigital.store. But I, I got to run guys. I, I, I have a big game to catch and score some for the winning team. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys out. Peace. All right, so it's tomorrow. Uh, after everyone left, I decided to just go through and develop the rest of my black and white rolls. So I did seven rolls in total. They're all dry. All my memories are literally hanging out to dry right here for everyone to see. We're gonna learn how to develop some color film. All right, so here's what I have to do. I have to perform surgery on my camera. 
If I, if I open this right now, it'll ruin all the memories. So the issue is, my camera got jammed. Okay. I had to open up the camera and physically cut the film strip. Boom, right here. So without looking inside the bag, I'm gonna have to open up the back of the, the camera, rack the slide, press the release pin. Now the film will freely be able to unwind out from that side of the camera. And then I'll have the film in hand, and then I'll be able to wind it onto this plastic spool. It's about the same practice as yesterday. We're just adding three extra chemical steps. This is from Cinestill, and it's just a bunch of chemicals. These are all the chemicals you're gonna need to process color film. Nick had uh, the mono bath, but for color, there's a lot more steps. As you guys can see, I'll look up the ratios real quick, and we'll get it right, I'm not worried. I mixed the wrong amount of water in that. What? I mixed too much water. This is 100, I counted it as 10. It's cool, we'll be good. It's not that big of a deal. Though they did say you need, your ratios need to be perfect. All good, all good. All right, so I mixed all of our chemicals together. They're actually up to temperature right now. They're up to 102. Developing film is about as difficult as D-Day. I can't say that. You can't put that in. <laughs> Did you know that uh, Robert Kappa, who was a, a famous photojournalist, landed on the first wave with the soldiers on D-Day? Uh -huh. He shot like, I think it was two or three rolls. Sent them back to England for processing after the landing. Did they get their chemical ratios correct? <sighs> no. They Wait, are you them serious? Up. No. The dude messed up no, the exposure. Didn't. No, they didn't. Ruined all of his rolls except for like three shots. And those are those three shots that are the famous photographs that are all blurry. Are you serious? Of, he of, actually of messed it up? Yeah. Could you imagine screwing up D-Day yeah. photos? In a way, you could say that developing those photos was harder than D-Day since D-Day actually was a success. <laughs> all right, Nick. If I don't successfully pull these photos out from my camera and develop and process them properly, my girlfriend is gonna be legitimately disappointed because I took a lot of really great photos of her dad and those are cherished memories, memories that she doesn't have. She doesn't have good photos of her dad chilling in a kayak. Our kids are gonna look back on those photos and be like, hey, that's grandpa. It's not gonna be on some hard drive. It's gonna be printed, hanging on a wall somewhere and it was taken from the negative that I'm about to produce right now. <laughs> Good luck, Clint. Thanks, Nick. I'm going in. Man, I'm just, my wrists are so beefy. Okay, man. Opening the back of the film camera. The camera, the back of the camera is open. I'm pulling the, the film out of the camera. Oh, I just had, I just had a memory, I just remember something. Remember that one time that I went kayaking for the first time? The film is loose. The film is loose. I heard it. We're out. Surgery complete. All right, now it's time to load it onto the spool. Film in. Abort. Okay, let's try that again. Attempt number two. Oh, oh. I have to redo it. Okay. The spool? Yeah. I'm gonna have to redo this again. What, why? It's not going in. The film is just like really, really sticky and sweaty at this point. Let's just give it a final try. And those are cherished memories. Memories that our kids are gonna look back. You in? I'm in. All right, so we're in. <gasps> what am I doing? Did you just take that off? I unscrewed it. I didn't off. take the whole thing off. What am I doing? Dude. Seriously, what am I doing? Now we need to start the process here. I'm gonna pour this in, so agitate continuously for the first 10 seconds, then four inversion cycles mm -hmm. every 30 seconds. So we have to keep it in longer because I pushed my film by four stops when I was shooting. So that means there's barely any contrast on the film. So I have to leave it in the development chemicals for longer to add more contrast. So we'll see if we can just get any memories out of this film. I'll be happy. And then we do, do, do the blicks. So you do not want to get this on your brand new Corridor Digital baseball tee. Start agitating, son. You're right, you're right, you're right. And that's for eight minutes. Dude, all this, all this not even knowing if any of this is gonna work. I know. Do you hear that sound? I thought it was my headphones. No, it's like, it's like a really chill drumming sound.
expecting the worst. We don't even know if anything's gonna come out. Could have been screwed up from the very first step, and we wouldn't know it. Is this the moment of truth? Yep. Memory wind. No, that worked. Dude, I can see the frame. I can see the frames. It definitely worked. Yo, this is legit. Well, that's dark. Hold on, that's dark. Maybe I agitated too much. They're very cyan. I, regardless, at least there's an image there. That's hey, pretty cool. That's my cat. You see that? What? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh there's something. There's one. There we go. Was that sun? That's a sun. There's some good ones. Oh, in here, this dude. is when we went to Atlanta. Wow, dude. Nice. That's the one from the video. Yep. I need to see. There's a boat. Kim's father's head. I need. There it is. There's the close-up of her dad. He didn't even know I was taking a photo too. Wow. So you know it's like the best one? Oh, my memories, every memory is on this film roll. All right, so this film is very dark, which means technically since it's a negative, it's very bright. But with film, you'd rather overexpose than underexpose because you can bring down the highlights on film really well. Dude. Ooh. That one was a good one, dude. That hurts. I can't believe we saved every memory. Like there's not one memory that's erased because of our chemical process. There's a couple shattered memories, but there's, there, there aren't any lost memories. We did it, we actually did it. We saved the memories. The color turned out a little janky, but it's all right. I'm gonna keep working on all this. If you shoot film, give this a shot, I dare you. It's a blast. And if you're an expert, then leave a comment on what we can do better next time. Subscribe if you guys wanna see more out of the box experiments like this. We do them from time to time and they are a lot of fun. Keep making cool stuff and I'll see you guys later.